This is an ABC News special report. The death of President George Herbert Walker Bush. I'm Linda Lopez at ABC News headquarters here in New York. We are coming on the air because we have some very sad breaking news. George Herbert Walker Bush, the 41st president of the United States, has died at the age of 94. And his death comes just seven months after burying the love of his life, his beloved wife, Barbara. The two were married for more than 73 years. He was tearful, as you can imagine, during that funeral service, comforted by his children. Bush was the patriarch of one of the most powerful political dynasties in American history. His son, of course, George W., so serving as 43rd president. Bush 41, as he's often referred to, was the last president of the greatest generation. He pursued a life of extraordinary service to America, a man who put country above party and family above everything else. President Bush faced victory and defeat in his presidencies with modesty, humor, and uncommon grace. ABC's Terry Moran has more on the life of George H.W. Bush. January 1989. I, George Herbert Walker Bush, do solemnly swear. He was 64 years old and he had at long last reached the pinnacle of American power. But for George H.W. Bush, the presidency was really just one chapter in a remarkable lifetime of service to our country. A record of heroism and leadership he found hard by his nature to discuss. I may sometimes be a little awkward, but there's nothing self-conscious in my love of country. Today, in a noisier and coarser political era, it's almost hard to imagine that such a man, so thoroughly decent, so moderate in his beliefs and style, could be president. You must feel responsibility to others. You must believe in serving others. I think that's, that's a fundamental tenet of my life. George Bush was born on the 12th of June, 1924, into the privileged world of the Eastern Establishment. His father, Prescott Bush, would later become a United States Senator from Connecticut, a Republican. On his 18th birthday in 1942, George enlisted to fight in World War II, becoming the youngest pilot in the U.S. Navy. Two years later, on his 50th mission, his plane was shot down over the Pacific. I knew if I wasn't rescued, I would be... Uh captured and it was it was a harrowing experience just months before the war ended bush came home and married his teenage sweetheart barbara pierce and over the years they had six children future president george w bush future florida governor jeb sons marvin and neil daughter dorothy and a little girl named robin who died of leukemia at the age of three in 1953 the pain of that loss was still evident years later in an interview with ABC's Diane Sawyer. But he was very close. I was very close to her. Um, she adored him. What was it that pulled you back up on your feet afterwards? He was very strong then. He was wonderful. George and Barbara Bush were married longer than any first couple in the nation's history, a love story that lasted more than 73 years. After college at Yale University, Bush moved to Texas, became a successful oil man, and won a seat in Congress in 1966. Then came a string of high-profile appointments serving the country in so many ways. Now Ambassador Bush. From the United Nations to envoy to China to director of the CIA. I will put politics totally out of my sphere of activities. But there was one goal that remained. Ladies and gentlemen, I am a candidate for President of the United States. It was 1980 and Bush ran as a moderate, but 1980 was Ronald Reagan's year. Reagan picked Bush as his running mate and for eight years George Bush was a loyal vice president. When his own time finally came, he offered his own vision, a reflection of his deepest ideals. I want a kinder and gentler nation. As president, George Bush led the nation skillfully on the world stage as the Berlin Wall came down and the Soviet Union collapsed. And when Saddam Hussein invaded Kuwait, a line has been drawn in the sand. Bush pulled together a broad coalition of allies, including many Arab nations, and launched Operation Desert Storm. Kuwait is liberated. Iraq's army is defeated. Our military objectives are met. 
He seemed a sure bet for re-election in 1992. But the economy tanked, and the moderate Bush had broken a pledge to the increasingly conservative Republican Party. Read my lips. No new taxes. It might have cost him the election. And defeat was so bitter for him, as we recalled with Diane Sawyer. I just had a great feeling of letting down a lot of people, a lot of people that worked for me. You have this ghastly feeling you let them down, and then you get over it, and you go on with your life. But so typical of this gentleman, years later he forged a surprising friendship with the man who beat him, Bill Clinton, when they raised money together for the victims of the South Asian tsunami and later for those in Hurricane Katrina. I think it sent a good sign across the country that you don't have, because you run against somebody, it doesn't make you an enemy. That's the way we'd like it to be. In George H.W. Bush's America, that's the way it could be. He died a man of character, a man of faith, a man ready, as the old saying goes, to enter his house justified. I do think that, that you go to heaven, there is a heaven, and uh, I don't fear it, though. When I was a little guy, I'd fear death. I'd be I'd worried about it, I'd be scared. Not anymore. And once again, the breaking news, President George Herbert Walker Bush has died at the age of 94. Later tonight on Nightline, we'll have a comprehensive look at the life and legacy of George H.W. Bush. And of course, you can always find updates on abcnews.com. I'm Linda Lopez at ABC headquarters here in New York. We'll return you now to your regular programming. This has been a special report from ABC News. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.